Hi, it's Jackie Earth and Remax Ultimate. I'm here with my best bud, Holly, here. And I want to talk to you about something that I experienced this week, which is really important, and I want you to listen in. I received a confirmation when making an appointment for a showing, and the confirmation read something like this. Friendly Golden Retriever Buddy will be in the home for showings. Please don't let him out. So, knowing that my client's wife wasn't a fan of dogs and afraid, which I had discovered on previous appointments, I called her and I said, are you interested in seeing this home? The dog is going to be home. I just want to make sure that it's okay before I confirm the appointment. And her answer was no, let's pass, let's not see it. So I want you to be aware when you're selling your home that if there are any favors that are owed to you, you should call in those favors. Friends and family really need to come together to help support one another. If you don't have family here that can help watch your dog on a permanent basis or on a 10 day, five day, whatever it's going to take to sell your home, then maybe you might want to consider boarding your pets. For me, boarding is not an option. I absolutely love my animals and want them in the home. So what we do is we send them up to the cottage with my husband for a particular period of time until we know the home is sold. We price aggressively and we make sure all evidence of pets is out of the home. What that means is leashes, bowls, doggy beds, take those all away and put them away. Not everyone is accepting of dog or dogs or pets or cats in the home. And the idea is to neutralize your home so it appeals to a mass buyer audience. Not just a few people who like dogs, but to everyone. The other thing I want you to think about is allergens. So ensuring the house has been steam cleaned and cleaned thoroughly to make sure that anybody with allergies is able to walk through the house without sneezing, red eyes, itchy watery eyes. If it means pulling up carpet in a room that has carpet where the cats have been or been for a long time or dog has been, invest in that few hundred dollars to remove that objection as well. The other thing pet owners don't realize sometimes, because we are pet owners and we live in the home, is our homes carry an odor from animals. You want to make sure that you have a really deep cleaning and that your house smells great and clean. I want to make sure that you're successful in preparing your home for sale and I want you to remove every distraction and objection that's going to make that difficult. Who you work with matters. If you need a referral to a boarding facility, we're happy to provide one. There's some really excellent ones. If you need a dog walker, we work with quite a few of them. Please don't hesitate to reach us through the link below. Take care, have a fabulous day.